Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 12, and this is war number 10. And we're going up against an alliance called El Retorno del Rey. I have no idea of what that means, so do not hold me liable. In any case, we have already scouted out our paths, and we've chosen these three to bring into war. Now, in section one, I take path one, which is a starburst path. So I always bring Gladiator Hulk for this path. He is by far the best option for this path. So far, I have not met anyone that I could not defeat with Gladiator Hulk on this path. So as you saw, I ran out of energy, had to wait, came back, and was able to continue my journey and fight this Psylocke. Now, defense tactics are in effect, and the ones that they chose give small champions, as you see there, a chance to evade and get power when they do. And she is a small champion. So I knew I had to watch out for this evade. Now, notice how I'm fighting her. I am not doing full five-hit combos. You see there, she evaded and got some power. All right, so now I'm not even doing that many. I'm only doing like one hit, one, two combos, and that's it. It seems like they have more of a chance to evade on the later combo. So three, four, and five seem to be a higher chance that they're going to evade. They can evade at any one. They can evade on your first hit, but I've had pretty good luck doing that. Now, if you stun your opponent, you can just hit them only when they're stunned and you'll be fine. All right, so now we are waiting. And when I got back, it was clear like magic. Anyway, so we're ready for section two. And in section two, I take path two. Uh, path one, I don't have good champions for that path. It's really great for void, but uh, I don't have a void as a five star. So I take path two, and at this tier, I have to deal with empowered immunity, which is not hard to deal with at all. And I'm facing a Proxima. And I still have to watch for the evade. And I didn't look. And so I think when I was starting this fight, I didn't realize that she was small. All right, so you see I'm fighting her and then she did that and I'm like, uh oh, that's right, she's small. So now you see what I'm doing here? I'm starting to just parry bleeder because she's not going to evade when I do that. And then boom. Hit her with my special two, and just keep on doing that, see? And then I tried to do that there, and she still evaded right out of my special. Uh, I was able to recover and block her so I didn't get wrecked, but it's risky to uh, attack a small champion with those defense tactics in place if they're not stunned. But we got her down, not too much of a problem. Now. My contribution in this war is actually pretty short. Uh, I didn't fight all that much in this war here. Uh, so next up, we've got Red Hulk. Now, Red Hulk, I remember soloing him in Labyrinth of Legends. So I know how to fight Red Hulk. And Starkey is a great option. I'm going to just build up my charges. And I don't always build up to the max 10 just depends on the fight and if I feel like I'm getting crowded into the corner I'll just go ahead and uh, attack if I see that he's not behaving the way that I'm expecting I'll just go ahead and go in and since I have blade with me Starkey starts with three so it just makes the fight uh, faster and I don't have to build up as many so that was the last fight that I contributed to in this war. 
So all that's left is to find out how we did in this war. And I'm back, and as you can see, we won. So that's going to do it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this very short war. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Maybe I should uh, fight less more often. Anyway, leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.